nice alloy upgrade here. Uh, we're gonna just start the motor up and, and see what sound it makes and then I will take you guys through how I fixed it. Cool. Just gotta check that uh, everything works. Choke once. Maybe not. Let's try choke twice. Yeah. idling and at the top end it kind of like still screams but I'm getting no smoke from this uh, car so I wonder if this is pure fuel in here and that the ring has actually uh, worn out so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swap out the fuel swap out the carb and see if it makes a difference if it still runs the same then we know it's internal and we'll start stripping there okay we're inside I'm gonna use my uh, little fuel suction thing here I did ask Delon if it's possible that this could be pure fuel in here with no oil we'll see what he says I'm just pumping it out here in a jerry can I've got under the table Up, swap the carb. Okay, I'm gonna take off this roll cage. What did I do with the fuel gap now? There it is. I'm just gotta take off this roll cage so it's easier to work. It's gonna take a bit. Is full of dust. No, 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 in the top, in the not there, there, the other top. Oh, the inner top. So this seems all clean, but there's a little bit of dust around here. It looks I like it must have been from a previous, um, from a previous run, because now there's all sand. All this, the, this cob is all full of sand. Uh, it's uh, it's Loctite. There's a lot of Loctite in there. Okay, so there is a lot of sand all the way around this thing. Yeah, even this carb. This carb is so full of sand. It's 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clean it as best as I can with a rag. And to get it away from the carb and then we'll strip it and clean it properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour some fuel in here. This is just my uh, my kind of like cleaning fuel. I don't know how I can balance this now so that it leans one side. Okay, so I pour a little bit of fuel in that container and then I just use a brush like this to clean the carb. Outside is pretty clean. Now what I'm going to take, do is I'm just going to take this top off and check the check the diaphragm. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just walk around here. Yeah? <clears throat> Lots of gunk on top of there. Sorry, it's not focusing because it's not on autofocus. But yeah, I'm gonna just wash that gunk off. Check this bottom here. This bottom actually looks quite clean. So I just want to get some clean fuel from the top because the dirty stuff will obviously drop to the bottom of the container. There we go. Just clean that off. And then get a clean piece of material and wipe it nice and clean. Here we go. Looks a lot better. If you guys can see there. Anyway. Clean that off and then without losing any of these screws. Also cleaning this off, which there's not much here, it's quite clean. Ah, wait, let me lift this. Ooh, okay, maybe not. So even there, that's quite dirty. Let me just give everything here a rinse. Okay, I'm still going to use another carb just so that we can troubleshoot and see if I put another carb on here now and it does the same thing then we can write it off as a uh, ring damage because there is quite there's some dust that went into this engine and then we'll strip open and replace the ring or ask the customer if he wants an upgrade or whatever he wants inside um, but yeah so I'm going to stick another carb on we're just going to quickly stick the other cars hub here uh, another testing carb here that I use, I'm going to stick that on without the air filter. Just clean this air filter a bit. And then uh, I'm going to check how it performs with that carb. Okay. So the one connected to the filter goes at the bottom, the return pipe not connected to the filter goes at the top. Now we can pump it up. Oh no, I didn't replace the fuel. I took the fuel out and there's still a little bit, very little in there. I'm 
just going to top it up with my special mix just a little bit and then we'll uh, pump it through so it mixes up nicely to make sure that we've got new fuel in the carb not the old fuel right let's go start it up outside okay so i've got fresh fuel different carb let's check it out It seems a lot better with this carb so the motor does run fine I don't think there's uh, that much ring damage a little bit of tuning and it, it ran nice so I'm gonna stick the old car back that we just cleaned and see if we can get the same performance out of it okay back inside let's pull this carb off okay so how I do it is I pull off the bottom let it run into the tank and then squeeze the carb until it's empty you don't want fuel sitting in your carb it will just do all kinds of damage okay so that goes there old carb goes back <coughs> bottom pipe goes on before we screw it back in any fault uh, so you just want to tighten enough to seal those gaskets that's all Okay, also, uh, I wonder if I can move that. Mm, where's my eight more? Yes? No, it has to dry for 24 hours, a whole day. It's still wet, my boy. You shouldn't even have put that wheel on. So these can adjust, guys. If it's ever in a different direction you don't want. Actually, this one can go all the way this way. And then we can stick the pipe over the filter like that. It will look quite snazzy. Once I got it clipped properly. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so now to adjust the carb. I want to put the throttle link back on. Tight. Let's see. So let's go give it a bash with this uh, this carb cleaned. Back outside, still have a tuning screwdriver with me. Everything's working fine. Let's give it a go. Thank you. 
see when I get to half throttle, it kind of like misses, so it seems like there's a, a blockage still. Uh, we can try and strip that now, turn the needle and see it. Um, the engine seems fine, the engine is running smoothly, revving through, but the carb is still giving an issue. We'll find out from the customer what he wants to do. He wants me to try and still service the carb and we'll just put another one on. Uh, we're going to stick on another carb here and see how it goes. We've got a spare carb here. Delon, whose car this is, is actually here. He brought me a spare carb, one of his own. So let's see how it goes. Let's go try it outside. More cars. <laughs> Come on. Okay, guys. So we're going to quickly take this thing for a drive. See that everything works. Everything works fine. As you guys can see carb swap out immediately it revs up it's got the performance so it's definitely not the ring it is the carb um, and there it is the Lonzo own carb this car is ready to run now he just needs to decide what he's gonna do with it <laughs> cool thanks for watching guys